Okay, I'm enabling transcripts because I know that we need them for a few people on our team. Um, I believe that you can like turn them off underneath the chat or like the participants thing um, for your screen, but I do need them on mine. Okay, so I'm excited to kick off this call. This is going to be, I feel like super helpful as you're not just gonna be hearing from me, you're gonna be hearing from some girls who are having experience right now, um, creating habits that are helping build their business. But before we jump into that, I wanted to introduce myself. We have had so many new reps join this team um, and we wanted to welcome you, whether you've been here for, you know, four years and you're just jump, jumping back in or you just signed up in the last couple months, whatever it is, we are so happy that you are here. Um, and we know that as you join these calls, I will tell you right now that the people that join team calls or are connected, stay in, it builds team culture. And I swear to you, your business goes better. I feel like your momentum stays. I feel like the people that join the calls are the ones that um, stay connected to the business and really kind of find that motivation over and over and over again, because there is power in all, in this group of women. There is a reason these businesses do well, because you could go off and sell activewear on your own on the internet, and it would not be as fulfilling because you are not a part of a, lar a larger community. And I believe that with my whole heart, I think it is so imperative that we show up to these calls because we need your energy just as much as you're coming here to learn something. So um, anyway, enough of that, but Let's kind of jump into a few things. My name is Sarah Anderson. If you don't know me, if you're brand new here, if you are on this call or you're on Teams I Apply Facebook page or our website, you are somewhere in my downline and we are excited you are here. Um, we have an incredible team here full of um, top leaders and also just like incredible go-getters and people that are here to help us build community. And you are lucky to be a part and connecting arms with so many of these women and men. Okay, so a few things that I wanted to do is talk about some announcements. Number one, um, they've obviously, if you did not see, continued the host program of doubling the host credits for another week, so until the 15th, um, but do know that they are behind one week in co contacting you about getting which item that you want. Um, the other thing is we do have, so as far as I am going to make this announcement, but um, some scheduled calls. So if you are unaware of when Team Zaya Papaya does calls, um, our second Tuesday of the month, every single month, count on it, no matter what, um, is our large team call, 7 p.m. This is the one that you are on. The third Tuesday of the month is our Let's Talk Zaya event. That is what you can use as a resource we provide to you that you can invite people um, to come and learn about the business opportunity where it's not from you. So if you're a brand new rep or you're a seasoned rep, it doesn't really matter. That call is there for you to invite people to so that they can learn about the business opportunity outside of what you're telling them. It's a third party tool. Make sure and use it, inviting people all the time. There's always a video in there, but every third Tuesday of the month, we do a live video and kind of replace the video that was in there. Um, the other thing is, if you are not a part of our 75 Grow, it is our team um, challenge right now. It's actually over on Instagram. We took it off of Facebook. I've personally loved it off of Facebook. Facebook is like notification like constantly notifying you of everything. Um, Instagram, it's over on, or send me a message um, through Messenger or talk to your upline or go to the Teams I Papaya Facebook group and you can search 75 Grow um, and find out more about that. We're gonna learn a little bit more about that as well. It's just kind of doing a 75, 75 hard almost, if you've heard of that diet, but 75 Grow is doing 75 days of intentional work on accomplishing these a few things every single day that we have laid out for you. And we know that through doing that through the end of the year, it's gonna take us through the end of the year is going to help you build your business, which is what we are talking about today. That was a lot. Okay, so we are talking about habits for the holidays. Um, the holidays, like I talked about earlier, are so easy to get distracted, right? It's actually a really prime spot for breeding mom guilt. I don't know about you guys or wife guilt or daughter guilt, cousin, whatever it is. It's a it's an easy time to feel mom guilt because it's like, well, these are the holidays I need to maybe kind of work a lot less, but we're here to kind of help you guys work more intentionally so that you don't lose the momentum that you have already built um, and can start January just as strong as you started November. So there's a couple things that we're going to talk about. I'm going to bring some other ladies on and I know that they're super excited to talk to you and I'm grateful that they agreed to do it as well. Um, but there's a few things that I wanted to talk to you about. Number one, working this business. If you are working this business for 40 hours a week, you didn't sign up for um, kind of like a side thing, right? Like 
this business takes work. I'm not here to tell you you can do it in the nooks and crannies of your day. I'm not telling you you could do it by scrolling social media all the time. What we do preach in this team is intentional work gets the freaking job done so much faster than going on social media and are like, I got to make a post. I'm going to scroll for 30 minutes. Oh crap, it's been 45 minutes. I still haven't made my post. Our goal is to help you work intentionally by giving you outlines and all of our challenges are going to be around that so that you can actually fit this business in, whether it's Christmas time, whether it's summer and your kids are home or it's spring break or you're quarantining with your family. The point of this business is, is time freedom. Now, that time freedom may not be at the beginning, but it shouldn't also be time prison. Like I know that there are times that I'm like, oh, I have so much to do. And if I really looked at what was income producing and wasn't remaking graphics and wasn't whatever it is that I always kind of get lost doing, um, I would have a lot more time on my hands to focus on my business and my family. And I'm telling you, you can do both if you work intentionally, because this business will take as much time as you allow it. And that's okay. There's going to be times in your business that it takes a lot of time, but as you can kind of narrow that down um, to what is important, it's going to take less time. And that's the point. I'm not here to tell you it's a like somebody called it. If they tell you it's a toilet time business that you can work it while you're hiding on the toilet from your kids, that is not it, right? We actually have to sit down with a plan. So it takes intention. Um, and our goal is, like I said, to help you build habits so that it's not so freaking time consuming and you're not frozen, not knowing what to do. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I sit down on my phone and even four and a half years in, I'm like, okay, I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and so just having a plan. The other thing is we've started November with massive momentum. This team, we are, March was our biggest month this year. We are charting to do the same thing that we did in March, which is crazy, which is crazy because Mar March was enormous. So we are charting the same seven days or what are we in? Nine days into November as we were nine days into March. And so that's a super exciting time, um, especially as we're helping our new reps get going. So, but what I want to push here is you guys get to create your own momentum. You are in charge of your momentum. If you only work these first two weeks during the host challenge, the host reward thing, and you take off the last two weeks of the month, your November, I mean, your December and your January are not going to be moving like I think that you think that they should. I am not a fan of pushing super, super hard for two weeks and then taking off four. Um, that's why we're gonna talk about habits for the holidays. But once again, you're in charge of your momentum and um, you get to create it, right? And don't let what you've created this first week of November slip by because you don't have a plan. And so um, I think that that's super powerful as well. Um, the other thing is, as you are booking a lot of parties right now and you are hosting a lot of parties, make sure you are following up with your customers and rebooking for this month. I think a lot of times we're like, let's rebook for next month. Let's rebook because then you can book off of that party for the next month. Um, so just make sure that you're following up. I feel like if this rewards, this host rewards has taught us anything, it is that we can get a freaking party together super fast post it and close it. I mean, we all have done so many parties in this first week that maybe we weren't prepared for. So you are fully capable of doing this. And I know that you are. Um, so just kind of look at what you've already created and build off of that confidence that you've built and just keep booking those parties, but don't push them out till January unless the host wants to, but try and get them in this month or the beginning of next month. So the last thing I'm going to kind of talk about before we kind of um, jump into these women who are kind of get a few tips for habits for the holidays is I challenge you, now this is gonna go against a little bit of what I just said for November, but I do challenge you to front load your December. So we know that sometimes the shipments aren't gonna to get to your people in time for Christmas at a certain time, at a certain date. I can't remember what that date is if they've given that yet. Sometimes it's like the 17th or 18th. Um, so front load your December with all of your parties in those first three weeks. And then you're going to be still posting and take, doing your habits to be building into January, right? Instead of taking two weeks off. And there's a reason that I'm telling you this because for a long time, I, can't, I think the last two or three years, Zai has thrown out a trip promo that starts in January. I don't know if that's what they're doing, but it usually is at the beginning of the year that they throw out the trip promo that anybody on the, in the company can earn. Um, and you're going to be able to earn it by hosting parties, hitting certain sales numbers, 
building your team and rank advancing. Those are the things that it's going to be built around. And so if you're taking off all half of November and all of December, you're just really truthfully not going to be in a spot where you're going to be signing up those reps that have been watching you um, and kind of jumping into that. So Okay, that's what we're gonna talk about um, is kind of going in, giving you guys a plan. We are gonna go, a lot of these girls that are talking today have been doing our 75 Grow. I, it has been so exciting watching everybody take advantage of this program, whether maybe you've missed a couple days, maybe you've done every day, whatever it looks like. If you do these activities that we have kind of outlined in 75 Grow, I know that your businesses will grow. So I've asked a few women in our um, 75 Grow that I that keep tagging the account. And um, I kind of asked them to talk about habits that they do in their business and kind of some pro like some rewards that they're getting from that or things that they're seeing happen in their business. So I am going to just have you girls unmute. Um, and I believe, Wendy, I believe that you're first. And then once you're done, all we'll go to Allison. Um, Ruchi, but Wendy, can you unmute? I'm hoping actually that you're on the call. Yes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Name, okay, I'll mute yeah. myself. Oh. Um, my name is Wendy Marks. I'm Wendy Marie on social media. So if anybody has questions or wants to connect afterwards, um, definitely reach out. I love, I love, love, love that. Um, I have been a rep for about two and a half years. I am a senior director and I'm actually under Carly Brown. Um, but want to talk about habits. One of the first things I think about <laughs> when I hear the word habits, is consistency. And for me, the biggest thing, um, I was like, gosh, I could talk about this all day long because I just love this topic. But I just taught, thought of three of my top um, top things when I think of consistency. And also one of the biggest things that has helped me recently is to set work hours, like set work time. And I think with the holidays, this is something that's going to be very, very important. So pick what days you're going to work, how long you're going to work. Um, I personally do Monday through Friday and I have 60 minutes dedicated work time. Um, you're going to save yourself a whole lot of headache and a whole lot of um, just all the things by setting that work time and having a dedicated workspace has helped me a ton too. So I can go to that space and the space is organized and everything is kind of how I want it to be. I'm not moving from here to here and then where's this that I needed everything is just kind of in that same spot um the second thing um that I would recommend for consistency and keeping those good habits is um Sarah has really good buckets that she has always shared they are awesome I took that actually she has one for each day and if you're not sure what I'm talking about um you can go to the website they're all on there and there's different ones that you can use what I did was I actually took each of the days and combined it into one sheet for myself. Um, that is something that keeps me on track. I can, um, I utilize that and, and use that every single day. And one of the biggest quotes that helped me was, you don't feel overwhelmed by not having enough time. You feel overwhelmed by not knowing what to do next. And when we feel overwhelmed and we don't know what to do when we sit down to do our power hours, sit down to work our business and we have like, oh, I need to do this and I need to do this. And oh yeah, I need to get that returned on. And that person needed this. All of a sudden we're so overwhelmed and we just completely end up, no, we either don't do anything or we don't get the things done that we want to do. So having some type of a checklist or something for me, I'm a paper person. So if you're a computer person, make something on the computer, come up with something that works for you. And I would highly recommend doing your, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like your, the things that you have to get done, like the time sensitive, like the most important things are the first things on your list. So that if you only can get one or two things done, you're getting those most important things done. Um, right, right, right away. <laughs> um, and one thing that's really helped me with that checklist is setting a timer. So for each one of my things is, um, so for example, the first thing I have on my list is connecting. I dedicate 20 minutes of connecting and that can look different to different people. That might be follow-ups. Um, it might be just connecting with new people on social media, but I set a timer for 20 minutes. And when the timer's done, I move on to the next task. Um, so the timer has helped me a ton. It helped me, helps me stay on task and it helps me get those things done that I need to get done. Um, the third thing is having some type of tracking system or something in place for follow-ups. Um, I'm on Carly's team. She talks about it all the time. If you've watched any of her trainings, she has an awesome computer spreadsheet. If you're looking for something that's computerized, I would re recommend reaching out to her and she can give you a sample of that. 
I am a paper person. Um, so I have a sheet that I took from that spreadsheet and I track my orders and my customers, my parties and do all of that. Um, but one thing that I use, and I don't know how many people actually use this or have heard of it. I actually use a CRM program. Um, it is something that when you're first getting started, it might be, you might not need it right away, but when you get further into your business, you get so many customers and so many contacts that it is so hard to keep track of it. And ever since I've been using um, that CRM program, I have been booking more parties. I've been staying better connected with people because I will end up reaching back out to someone and go, oh yeah, I started this conversation with them and I realized I didn't even finish the conversation. Like you get distracted, you're doing something else. Um, I use a program, it's called TeamZ. I don't know if anybody's heard of it, if anybody else uses it, but if you have questions on that, I absolutely love it. And without that, I don't know how I would um, stay in contact with my customers and just keep doing those follow-ups and the things that I'm doing. So um, that just really helps me a ton. So those are my three things and that is all, that was everything. Okay, got it. Awesome, thank you so much. <laughs> I couldn't find, I was clicking to get that um, Google tracker and put it in the comments. Okay, Allison, do you want to go next? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, hi, I'm Allison Rucci. Thank you, Sarah, for asking me to do this. Um, I have been doing 75 Grow and it kind of opened my eyes to everything. I've only been in Zai two years and I'm a Zai executive, um, but I love parties and that's how I grew my business. But I wasn't big on Instagram. So this 75 grow has been amazing. Um, just talking on my stories has changed like my followers viewpoint on everything. So if that's something that you guys don't do, I would def definitely recommend it. I tell my team all the time that they should be talking on their stories. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little annoying, especially every day doing it, but I am getting very, very good feedback. People like it, they message me um, and I just follow up with everyone. And when that mess that loves it, um, comments it, anything. And like, I'm just very straightforward. And I asked if they've ever tried Zaya. I've probably, what, it's been like three weeks. I think I've booked like seven parties from new people just from my stories. So my Instagram stories are linked with my Facebook stories. So I just go in and I just follow up with both of them. And literally during my power hours, that's what I've been trying to do. And I do have a four-year-old and I am 27 weeks pregnant. So I am really trying to balance everything together because I do not work. Um, and being on my phone scrolling 24 seven, you feel like you're working a lot, but you're not. So power hours have been huge too for myself, just putting my phone down and realizing people can wait a couple minutes to reply you to what size leggings they need to buy. <laughs> um, but it's hard at first when you're new and you're excited. Um, but yes, parties is how I do it. You just, I just book them. And I just recently just ended my first one day party yesterday and it got over $600 in sales. So I really, really like it. It's to the point, it's simple. Um, and it just shows what they need to see. And I like it too, because I was doing like five day parties and I'd post so much stuff. And I think people are just getting overwhelmed. So I really do like that as well. But the connection part, just connecting with different people, um, trying to like different accounts, even if you're not doing 75 grown Instagram, I would go on there and follow because the trainings have been amazing. And they are like showing stuff that I have no idea how to do on Instagram. So it's been very, very helpful. <laughs> like Shelby's training with like seeing like who haven't you interacted with and all of that stuff. I had no idea. So it was really good for me just to learn stuff. And I'm telling my team just to go on and watch as well and trying to encourage them to do talking on stories. I know it's hard. I still personally hate doing it <laughs> after three weeks. <laughs> but it works, I promise. And hopefully it'll get easier, <laughs> but, um, but yes. And then I just bluntly ask them if they've ever tried Zai, if they want to host a party, get free and half off items and all of that kind of stuff. So, but that's pretty much it. I mean, I've just been consistent with it and it's really working and girls on my team, 
are doing it and consistent with it and it's working for them too. They all have amazing feedback from it and it's helping that. And I'm telling them if you start, even if you start now, it's going to help set up for 2022. And it's only going to help people know what you're doing because a lot of my girls won't post on their public Facebook page or Instagram page about Zai much, but in your stories, if you do, people will know. So I think someone's asking, oh, the one day party, the one day party, Sarah, is the one Brittany posted. Duncan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll get that out to everyone too. That's awesome. Okay. I love that so much. And if you are not a part of 75 Girl, what we have, what the challenge is, is to do a power hour um, every day, right? Like a set hour of work. Um, what's cool about what other challenges that we, the other things we challenge you to do and focus on can be done inside that power hour. Um, that is 15 minutes of personal development. I don't care if you're working out, put your headphones, AirPods, whatever they're called. My kids make fun of me. Um, and, or you're driving, like just be listening to a podcast or something self-help. Um, the next thing, so it's personal development. It is an outfit of the day on your stories. That I think has been harder for more people than ever imagined. Thank goodness when I first started, stories weren't a thing. Um, so I've been able to grow into them, but it's important that creates connection and people are actually watching more than they are a picture. The other one is inviting five people to either host a party or look at the rep opportunity and then 10 um, connections. So that is like talking to people that you don't know. This business is about social selling. This is network marketing. And if we're just posting on our social media, these still pictures and we're not connecting and we're not inviting, they're not coming to us. So that's why we put those things in there because those are the things that will grow your business. That's what we say to focus on. Um, and that will fill up your calendar. It's going to get people interested in the, in the, like the business opportunity because you're sharing the clothes, they're seeing it. You're, and they're connecting with you and you are inviting them. So looking at that, okay, Tashana, did I say your name right? You wanna go next? I know I saw you on here. And if I said your name wrong, <laughs> please correct me when you unmute. Do you know how to unmute? I figured it out, I think. <laughs> you got it. Oh wait. Oh, it just muted again, hang on. There. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Can you Go hear ahead. me now? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Tashana's right. Um, so I'm Tashana Hammond and I'm actually a new rep. I just signed up. I think it was, well, my husband and I did together. So technically we're under my husband's name, but I'm a stay at home mom. So I do most of it. Whereas it's just good to have the guy's perspective too, since I feel like we don't have a lot of guys um, marketing it right now. So, um, anyway, so I think we started October 10th. So then we started the 75 grow not long after that. And I think it was just a really good opportunity for me to kind of just jump right in and be accountable and kind of dig in deep. So I set a couple of small goals for myself, um, that first month of October. And one was to book five parties. Um, I don't know if I hit that. I think I, I did book five parties, but not all of them were successful. Um, but it did help grow like my VIP page and stuff like that. Um, but the big goal that I wanted was to get that extra commission, the $1,000, um, hit the $1,000 in sales and get the 28% commission. And I did that. And then my next big goal was to get 200 members in our VIP group. And right now I think we're sitting at 230. So, um, kind of what, how I do it is my power hour is while I'm doing the stationary bike. Um, and I connect with people that way, do most of my posts, do most of my reach outs, and then also do my personal development on the bike. I listen to music with headphones that my kids can listen to, because <laughs> that's kind of my motivation when I'm on that cycle. I don't know. It just, it works for me. And then I plan my day usually after the kids go to bed. So they're usually in bed around eight or nine. And then I like my mom time until about 10 watch TV. And that's when I plan like my in real life photos, because I feel like in the boutique biz, when you actually see people that you either know or real life people who are standing in their living room, taking pictures of the clothes that gives you more of an idea of what they're going to look like on everyday people's 
instead of just our Zion models. So um, the, um, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Oh, that's the other thing I do is like, right when I'm drinking my coffee in the morning, I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear that day. I do a flat lay um, and then take pictures of like actually on the site of what each item costs. And then later I'll go through and in the comments, put the in real life photos besides of myself, of other girls wearing it. I try to get different sizes and different things like that. Um, we're not new necessarily to the boutique business side of it. I like to put my little girl in Matilda Jane and wildflowers. And I know that that's always what draws me in is when you see these little kids actually wearing it. So at the, right out of the gate, I parted with some of her other boutique clothes and then use that money to buy her Zaya. So that way I could mix it up and it wasn't just me with in real life pictures. It was my daughter or my sons or my husband. And it was a way where I didn't feel like I was having to spend a ton of money right out of the gate to get this up and going. I found other ways to kind of fund those purchases, I guess. But it's been good for me. I'm also really introverted. I am sure you can tell I'm a little anxious because this whole thing in general has really brought me out of my comfort zone. Um, I hosted my first in-house party last night. And so I got to meet people that I would probably have been reclusive with. And it was so, so much fun. Um, it's just actually making me a little bit more comfortable in my own skin too, getting me out of my comfort zone, talking to people that I wouldn't normally talk to or starting a conversation that I wouldn't because I'm also really, really old fashioned. And I would much rather have a phone call or sit and talk in person than I would to text or message somebody, which I know a lot of people these days are the opposite, just send the text and get it over with kind of, I'm not like that. I would much rather have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody. So I think the 75 day growth thing mainly just held me accountable and got me out of my day-to-day -day comfort zone and kind of opened up to people that I wouldn't normally have. So yeah. I love that. I think we all need accountability, right? Like these things that were that are in the 75 Girl, the invites, the connections, and the talking on outfit of the day it's on your stories, I feel like are very easy to not do. <laughs> they are very easy for me to be like, oh, I'm busy. Oh, my full hour is gone. Or the connections took me for the first five days an hour to connect with 10 new people. And so it does take time. So Jessica had a question of how long, um, how long would you say your morning routine of picking up the outfit, taking the flat lay, and then taking it, real life pictures and posting those? Um, how long does that usually take? Um, honestly, not very long. So I have an idea of what I wanna wear usually right after I send my kids to school. So I simply just lay it on my wood floor cause it's kind of a calm, neutral background. And then I have natural sunlight that kind of comes in through that window. So it provides good light for the items. So that takes like literally maybe five minutes. Um, and then to look it up on the Zaya page, that doesn't take very long either to see which items that I'm using. So that way people can see the price points right away. Um, but then like the in real life photos, I usually do that that specific outfit while I'm riding on with Zaya. I just learned through our smaller team meeting on Sunday that you can time post. And I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Um, but that's my goal eventually that I can time some of those posts in my parties, at least if not in the VIP. Um, I don't know that I'll use that all the time because I feel like sometimes that takes some of the like natural candidness out of it. If everything's timed to the minute during the day. Um, but for the most part, I would say maybe five to 10 minutes to do the flat lay and then maybe five to 10 minutes to look up the in real life photos. Cool, I love that. Another thing that I think is also an idea with that is um, batch, batch creating, right? So if you didn't have time every day to take those pictures and to do a flat or whatever it is that you wanna do or even your outfits of the day, you could go and record those on Sunday and do five outfit changes and be like, okay, hey, today I'm wearing this. And then you're gonna just upload it to your stories or your VIP page on the day that it is. Um, so if you are working or have a lot going on that week, that's another way to kind of just get it done. And then you're not thinking about it for the rest of the week too. 
Okay, I love it. Thank you That's so much, Tashana. And I'm proud of you. You haven't even been you, a month tomorrow you, and you're like talking on a team call. <laughs> That's amazing. Good job. Um, okay, Thank next you. we're Thank gonna you for go to Aaron. Oh yes, anytime. Next we're gonna go to Aaron. Are you on, Aaron? Yes. I'm on. Cool. I'm here. Perfect. Um okay, 75 Girl has been awesome for me because. I never post live on Instagram or stories like of myself talking or whatever. So it's totally been out of my comfort zone, but it has been so worth it because I had um, three people already reach out to me about being a rep um, just from my stories and people I would have never even thought were even watching them. So um, if you're not posting your outfit of the day, do it. And some of my outfits of the day are like showing our cute bags, showing, you know, it's not always what I'm wearing. Um, and I like to post stuff too. My 12 year old also loves Zaya. So she likes to wear lots of stuff. And so sometimes I like to have her model things too, because it just gives different sizes and a different perspective of different body types too. So anyway, I am, I've been with Zaya two and a half years. Um, I have five kids between the ages of 12 and one. So I'm busy. Like I don't have a lot of time. Um, so I start my morning now. I get my workout done. I listen to a podcast, um, in the mornings and then I make lists. I am a list maker. So find out if you're a computer person or a list maker, like we've talked about before and um, write stuff down because I swear I can't even go to the grocery store unless I write it down or I go home without everything I need every time. And that's the same way it is um, with diet. If I don't write it down, I'm going to miss somebody that wanted me to reach out to them or that I thought about reaching out to. Um, so I make lists, potential reps, um, people that I've reached out to that I need to follow back up with, people that have liked posts and that I want to go follow up and be like, hey, I noticed you like that post about these leggings. Um, why don't we get some to you and let's let you try them? Um, stuff like that. So um, I also make lists of names of people I think for who would like to host parties. Um, and, you know, not everybody says yes, but they're getting that personal reach out. And it's not just like a graphic posted on my page that's like, hey, host a party with me because not very many people reach out to that. But if they have a personal invitation, sometimes they're too afraid to say no. So they'll just do it anyway. <laughs> um, and so that's kind of what I do. But I feel like if you're not showing up on social media, then you are missing out on a lot. Um, and I, I also add everybody to my VIP page on Facebook. So I have my Instagram and my VIP page on Facebook. And also with my Instagram in my stories, I don't only post diet. I've kind of turned my Zaya page into a little bit more personal page too. I mean, I don't post a ton of stuff about like my kids, but I do like to post like real mom moments because I feel like that helps people connect with me more. Um, than just, oh, she only posts about Zaya, skip through her stories, because we've seen this already, um, kind of thing. So I like to make it really personal. And especially through the holidays, I think that's very helpful, um, is making the connections with people and creating those friendships. Because if people feel like they're your friend, they're more likely to reach out to you to make a purchase or to ask you about being a rep, um, instead of just passing you by. So Hey, I love that so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, our very last one, and then we will end this call for tonight. Oh my gosh, I just looked totally bald when I pulled my hair back. Um, we are gonna hear from Sadie, and she is going to um, kind of talk to us about some things that she's been doing and what's been working um, to give you more ideas and to fit that in. So Sadie, do you wanna unmute? Can you hear me? Yep, perfect. Okay, so you guys all have such like set wonderful plans and I just kind of go for it. I've been with Zaya for just over a year and these last couple of months doing this have helped a ton. I've seen a lot of growth. Um, but so usually in the mornings when I get up, I just think about what I'm going to do for my outfit and how I'm going to reach out to people and where I'm going to go to for my five invites and then I figure all of that out and I I usually do my invites from people that are currently hosting parties with me or I go through my already hosted parties and go through the people that interacted a lot or purchased and I will ask them I'll just re reach out to them and ask if they want to do a party or 
Um, there's some of them I don't always ask for to do or to rep just because a lot of people are like, wow, that's really overpowering and it just scares them. And so I always ask for a party first. And then once they say yes to that, then I'll ask them if they want to join and then they can use, they can either make commission off of that or if they say no, then I ask after the party's over and see if they want to use the um, credits that they got to start their business. And then I just go through Instagram. Um, I just go to the search bar and look, or the search button and look at um, different accounts that I relate with or pictures that I like on there. And I go to those and then to who liked them or who commented on them and go through um, people on there and will comment on their posts. And then um, I've got a lot of follows and answer or just comments back from that, which was actually really surprising, I thought. And then, yeah, I just eventually do my outfit of the day. Um, a lot of times if I don't do it, as soon as I think of it in the morning, I forget about it until late at night. So I do it when I think about it. And then, yeah, that's just everything that I do. And I found that um, if I don't get everything done, then I think about it all day long until it is done. So I get it done as soon as possible. That's all I do. Yeah, I love that. If I'm not done by like noon with that, with what I need to get done on 75 Grow, I feel like it's just constantly filling my brain. So I love that so much. Okay, thank you guys for sharing. Hopefully we had a ton of takeaways. I know I did. I think some of the top takeaways that I had um, is there's more than one way to do this. And that's what I wanna kind of preach here is we all have different um, lives. We all have different things we're going through. We Some of us have other jobs. Um, some of us have a, one or more, like a bunch of kids. Um, you know, help at home with a husband or a boyfriend, some do not, some of whatever it is, we all have different lives. And there's more than one way to do this. And there's a few things that I do feel like we all have in common, right? No matter what it is. And um, consistency is key. And that means showing up and working your business. What if you could only do 30 minutes? And then it's like, oh, it's not worth it. 30 minutes is worth it. 30 minutes of intentional work is worth it. So consistency is key, um, is the other takeaway that I got from that. Um, and then to have a plan. Now, what I say here is to have a plan and some people want buckets. They want a dedicated, every Monday I do this, every Tuesday I do this, whatever. And some people wake up and decide what they have to get done for that day. And that's my thing in saying, there's more than one way to do it. And you've got to do what works for you. Okay, you've got to do what works for you. There's not a wrong way. Um, so to have be consistent and to have a plan, however it is that you create that and to have a dedicated work time. The only way I feel that you can be consistent is if you have a dedicated work time. Now, is that one straight hour? Is it 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at night? Is it truly 15 minutes before you get to work, 15 minutes on your lunch hour, and then 30 minutes at, in the afternoon? It doesn't really matter, um, but you will see as we head into the holidays, your time and your extra time, whether it's your Christmas shopping, your wrapping, your taking, making extra food or whatever it is that you're doing for the, or taking on extra shifts at your other job, you are going to find that your time will get eaten up by everything else. And so to have a dedicated work time that you say, okay, this, no matter what I'm working on Zaya, no matter what that looks like, I'm dedicating to this is going to be huge as you're heading into the holidays. Um, and then lastly is focusing on connecting and inviting. A lot of times we only share. It's so much easier to just share. It's so much easier to just, I do it all the time. My account is Zyaware. So sometimes I'm like, they don't care what my daughter's doing right now. And I'm like, it's so much easier to be like, here's my outfit of the day. And this is what we did today. And then like, this is our team call and I move on. They want to connect with you. So connections are inviting to connect, like meeting new people by following them, just like Sadie just talked about, or it's just about sharing as, as well as sharing yourself on stories, sharing yourself in posts, putting yourself out there. Because if you are just posting the, the beautiful models that we have on the page and you post every single Wednesday, you are not connecting, not even a little bit, right? You're just sharing what just came out to your page. So focusing on connections and invites. 
Those invites are the game changer. And not just expecting somebody to come to you and say, I'm ready, I wanna host a party by your post that you made. You are inviting them. Hey, I know you love the stuff. Are you ready to earn some at free and discounted? Hey, I know you love the stuff. You should sign up and get a lifetime discount and earn commissions because you're already sharing with your friends. Make it simple. We already are like, give me a script. I know sometimes I do that too. Give me some, an idea. That's okay, but we overcomplicate it. So at the end of the day, consistency, having a plan, dedicated work day time, like a power hour, focusing on connection and invites. At the end of the day, looking at the 75 Grow, if you want more information on that, go to 75 underscore grow on Instagram. That's the account, but it will change your business. And so I challenge you guys to make a plan for the holidays, front load your December and take the last half messaging, connecting. And when I say front load, I'm saying that's your parties. And then you're taking the rest of the month to connect and invite people for January um, so that you are prepared for that freaking trip promo whenever they launch it, um, but hopefully in um, January. So that's it, you guys. I will post this um, tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go get my kids fed, in bed, all the things. And then once they're off at school tomorrow, I will post this during my power hour. Last thing, if you wanna join me on a power hour, Monday through Friday, I do, it's a weird time because it works for me, is 8.45 in the morning till 9.45 in the morning, Monday through Friday. Sometimes I'm late if Liv is late getting out the door, but um, you can also find that link in our 75 Grow Instagram group. So, okay, that's it, you guys. Have a good day. Thanks so much for jumping on. See ya.